Hey guys, happy Monday. Uh, back in the shop here on the golf cart project. <clears throat> I got the finished pieces that I painted on Saturday morning put away uh, with the exception of one piece that I actually missed a repair area on. I'll show you that. Um, this was actually busted right here. You can see this dark strip. It's actually my backing that you can see there. Um, when this is good and cured, I will uh, carve this, sand this, prime it, and then repaint this piece yet again. Third time. My bad. Uh, I had to make some riggings up here. Kind of a jig to hold everything in place. Um, but everything else is ready for primer and or paint. So this piece is sanded in 400 and is ready for finish color. Excuse me. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the inside yet because it is visible once it's on the cart. Those are my patches. Um, I'm thinking after I'm done priming, I'm just going to blow the inside of this with white and um, paint it. I don't know what I'm going to do for sure yet, but I don't know. Um, this piece is the lower part of the hood. I had one repair area here, a crack that I missed in the edge, and then um, there was a hole hacked in here for a switch at one point um, that I'm going to eliminate just to clean that up. Uh, I can show you the back side of that. Uh, again, I use that 3M patching material. That shit works awesome. So other than those two repair areas, that piece is ready for paint. Um, then there is this seat bottom, which is ready for primer. This seat bottom, which is ready for primer. And the rear, which is where we started this fun project, uh, this is ready for primer. Uh, I'm going to prime this very, very heavy um, because I don't want to take the time to fill every single little nook and gouge and all that stuff when I know that this high build primer will do 90% of it for me. Obviously that looks like a grinder mark. I don't know if I did that. But anyways, that will have to have some filler put in it, I'm sure. But it's not a big deal. Um, this area looks pretty good. Um, these parts cleaned up pretty nice. Um, we had a little bit of a thunderstorm go through here tonight. Nothing serious, but uh, I maybe wasn't doing the smartest thing. I was outside behind my shop here. I have a well pump. And uh, it's right off my well casing. And it's thundering and lightning, and I'm hosing parts down, and I'm right next to one of the biggest trees in my yard. And I'm getting rained on, and I'm standing in water, and I'm hosing down parts, and I'm thinking, ah, oh, this might be dumb. But I survived. So uh, I'm here to live, live to tell the tale. Um, so if I am able to get out here tomorrow night, um, these parts will see primer. These few areas, um, repair areas, will not take me long to finish up, um, provided everything holds like it should. Um, I might not get out here tomorrow night. I don't know. I think my wife might have something going on tomorrow, so um, maybe not. Maybe so. I don't know. Um, we'll see. But um, for sure, the next video will be um, of these parts getting sanded and or primed oops sorry about that hope you could see me there um, again on these seat parts these screw holes are not supposed to be here someone at some point in time had put which I think was like masonry um, kick plate or masonry like sill moldings or something on here glued them and screwed them well, I couldn't get the glue off so the consensus is it's going to get something put back on here whether it's going to be you know a custom bent piece of diamond plate or something so i'm not worried about the finish that low i mean it's all going to get painted of course but um so we'll see what that looks like um but i'm definitely on the home stretch here um, 
the field door and the cup holder, which is right there. Those will just be seal and paint. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that I will be doing one complete sealer coat on all of these pieces before color, just to have some uniformity and better coverage. Um, and that's how I did the other pieces. They were basically sealed and painted. So I want to be consistent on how I do the paint process so I don't have any variation in color. And maybe I wouldn't anyways, but I don't want to take that chance. Um, I think I'm going to have to order more color. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, probably. Um, before it is paint day. I'll see how far I get. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. I really don't want to buy another quarter color, but... I don't want to run out either so we'll see I'll come up with a plan on that and I'll keep you in the fold on that um, so other than that <clears throat> it's Monday my shop is still a mess um, but after this project is done I'm pretty sure I got the green light from the wife to start working on testing so I need to get a frame I have one secured I just have to go pick it up and pay for it um, and then it's going to be chassis building time. So we're going to get the frame cleaned up, painted, get the front disc brake conversion kit put in it, get the brake lines run, um, possibly fuel lines, rear differential cleaned up and painted, leaf springs painted, put in. Um, I might look into some lowering springs for the front. I haven't decided yet. That's something I can do later, I suppose. So my goal, again, on the 56 is to get the chassis rolling. Um, I have the engine transmission now. I just have to go pick that up. It's in my trailer at, at the shop. Um, I'll show you that. Again, that's a 350 with a 400 turbo. Um, need a cross member and an engine mount kit for that. And then I want to get the bottom of this body shell blasted, seam sealed, and painted so it can be set back on the chassis and be one rolling unit again and I will do the rest of the body work and electrical and plumbing and all that stuff um, as one rolling unit to save space um, and then I can fit parts as I go um, and not have to worry about it so much. It'd be nice to do the whole body on the rotisserie but simply because I don't want the whole shop taken up with this vehicle right now. Um, and, you know, it'd be much easier to do it all right now. But there's just simply too much to do on it to expect to get it done this year. Um, my oldest is in T-ball this year, so there's practices and, and games and stuff on the weekends. And, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to miss that. You know, I need to be, I need to be, uh, I need to be dad before I'm body man so um, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that so I'm gonna do the best I can to um, be there for him for that and then hopefully he'll be here for me when uh, when I need to need his help in the shop so all right um, that's it I'm gonna button that up and uh, we'll call it good so as always guys thanks for watching uh, and I will bring you several more videos this week provided I can get out here um, I'm really hoping that I can have this stuff painted and done and out of my life by this weekend. I've said that before, so I probably just jinxed myself. <laughs> you know how that goes, guys, right? Um, but um, I'm going to hope for that to happen. Uh, but first, I'm going to finish my... Uh, what do I got here tonight? I got a Reds. What is this? Thing? Reds. Hard iced tea. Not a nice tea fan. That shit's pretty good. So, alright guys, thanks again, until next time, peace.